Well, this calls for a drink. Hey, what better drink than pure black cherry juice? That's right. Hey, this is an occasion. Ah, I always do that. I'm the only one who drinks out these bottles. What the hey? Hey, salute. Skull, whatever that stuff is. Toast, whatever it is. Why? Wait, let me take the drink first. Mm. A sip first. Only goes to show. Hey, like Ida B. Wells, you know, if you're researching, if you dig hard enough, you're going to find it. Hidden in the back <laughs> of a volume of love poems that I wrote. Long time ago. About 1970, early 70s, right? Like that. When we do cry is not the cold warmth of the falling tears that tell us we're alive. No, I'm not going to keep on going with that. Dear formerly, you are not now my golden lock so my golden lock so free. You are completely and not so discreetly shattered. I'm going to keep on going with that. Sexual performance, leave that one alone. Shit, no, I don't leave that one alone. Lying there so serene, my mind thinks many new things. These thoughts filter through your being. Ah, oh, gosh, man. The doer. I, no, leave, leave that one alone, too. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho, mm. ho. Through the. No, no, I got that one. Anyway, in the back of. <laughs> seal me. Seal my fiber with the rain, for there is rain, even though, even after my pain. The one thing that, oh, terrible. Here's what I found at the back of the book. Okay, let me take this out. Well, there's two things. The one big thing I was looking at, oh, let me take this out. I'll take these. These are the things here I want to show you. Hold on. Don't go over here. Hold on. Wait right there. You go over there. One thing is, when I was in the Air Force, Air Force. When I was in the Air Force, you know, American Air Force, United States Air Force, right? Um, I never left the country. Right? I was all, uh, I was stationed. Eventually, my last duty station was my McGuire Air Force Base, but I spent basically two and a half years there. Didn't go no place, right? Like I said before, there's there's three class for me. There's three classifications of veterans of the Vietnam era. There's ones who never left the stateside, right? There's ones who were who left and went to like like like, like Germany, Philippines, no outfit, but never was in theater. You're never in Vietnam. Then there's people that was in Vietnam for a long time. I had a little guilty for that. Said, oh, yeah. But then again, I was a lab technician, so if I went to Vietnam, they had to put me in an air conditioned tent. But then I thought much later, say, no, you didn't want to be no place in Vietnam because that that's the time they were really bombing. You know, they were going down that napalm that that with that Agent Orange, real tough. You know, because let me tell you something. When I first got in the Air Force. When I was at uh, Shepherd Air Force Base up there in um, Texas, close to the border of uh, Oklahoma, there was, that's when Kissinger first went and they started bombing Cambodia, right? And I was listening to a radio station, uh, you know, a community radio station, right? And they played every war, every anti-war, every protest song there was. The whole, they just played everything. It didn't matter, rock. Uh, 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 R and B, you know, you know, country, whatever they play, you know, uh, the folk, the troubadour, whatever they play, they play that they, they really protest, and that's when you protest it. That's when people were really all together, right? Anyway, but what I did learn from what I did do in the Air Force, hey, look, I caused as much. I don't know. I don't want to say not mayhem, but I started a lot of little things in the Air Force. You know what I mean? I mean, because wherever you are, you got to, you know, you got to remain yourself. You know what I'm saying? I come from the Black Arts Movement. I come from, you know, you know, da, 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 da. actually, I was in the Revolutionary Cell before. Anyway, don't worry, don't worry that. Some other time. The point, I was the last person that, that people would think was in the Air Force. But anyway, when I was there, because remember, hey, this is, the, this is, I think this is the key that people miss today. Um, the movements, you know, the, the left, the black, let me just do the, the black, you know, the Pan-Africans, whatever have you, the, our black liberation movement. Well, we, our biggest mistake was giving up the flag. Remember the civil rights movement, the civil rights movement, the, um, the, civil rights, the, um, the people down south, you know, SNCC, SNCC well, yeah, I guess it's SNCC, but um, uh, SCL, they always carry the flag. You can see places they had nothing but American flags, you know, because it's the early 60s, whatever have you. But when we got to into like 
Vietnam. Then they said, oh, this flat is disgusting. It did this, that, that. Not knowing, no, you allow, you know, you let, you, you allow Kissinger and, and those people to hijack the mission of the mission of the United States of North America, of the United States of America. In other words, the United States is not a flag. It's not a, it, it's, it's whoever hijacks it. It's, you understand what I'm trying to say? This is the biggest problem we have today. You have these people that, no, I'm a Pan-African. I'm, I'm, I'm rocking with Garvey, blah, blah, blah. No, but you're also American, you idiots. <laughs> Garvey got kicked out because he wasn't American. You understand what I'm trying to say? Blind, all of them, you know, the, the, the flag can't fight itself. I'm not going to argue a point. My point is, when I was in the Air Force, I took advantage of the thing. Here's the thing from, um, see, it's right there. Department of the Air Force written a letter, right? It was a, 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 a reply to the attention of Black Caucus Organization. So you said, I want you to see that. This is 27 June, 1973. See, Black Caucus Organization. Now, important thing that, said Black Caucus Organization, was in the Air Force? Yeah, because when I was at McGuire, <laughs> me and a couple other people, we started this organization called Black Caucus. Oh, it was, man, we caused so much problems. In fact, we were so... Remember, this is like right after the the upheavals in the cities, whatever happens. They were afraid of black people in the Air Force, right? This was at McGuire Air Force Base. Now, McGuire is in New Jersey. It's surrounded by Fort Dix, the big army base. At McGuire, at McGuire, let's see if I get, what's the picture? Oh, man, where's the, where's the oh, here's another picture. Wait a second. At the, yeah, I think it's this guy here. I'm going to show you this, this later. But, yeah, I think it was Dennis. Oh, what was I say? Dennis Roberts? I don't know. What, I think it was. I might be missing. It doesn't matter. Let me not. Let me not. Let me not. supposed to be. At our, at, at our lab, right? Um, we were, but anyway, at, at McGuire's base, there was the highest ranking black person was a colonel who was in charge of the SPs, the special police, the, the, the MP, call them the MPs, whatever. The, the police, right? And they, because, he, anyway, they thought they were impressing us because we have meetings every week or something like that. We have meetings all the time, right? And at one of the meetings, they sent over this general from the army, that's Julius Beckton. Beckton was like the second guy in charge of um, FEMA, right? When he got out, whatever, whatever it is. But he came to us. He was supposed to chill us out. You know what I mean? He came to our meeting. And this is, this is very funny. And he's trying to tell us all this and that, you know, is what, what, like like what like what Barack Obama did did to did to King James, did, you know what I mean? Trying to cool him out. Oh no, you yeah, like all the people do when when we when we start up upheaval and they come and they try to bring out the Negroes and say, oh no no you shouldn't do that. So he came to our meeting, and we hammered him. Now you have to understand. <laughs> Gosh, I was I was like in the back. I was chilled, but I think I got this energy. So everybody's hammering, but then I was saying some stuff to him. That guy, he got so mad. He stormed out and on the way out, since I was by the door, he stopped right in front of my face. <laughs> okay, it's true. I was, I, I, okay, it's true. I was, anyway, the point, he stopped right in my head. He said, you'll never bring this country down. Yo, I'll see you in the, and he say stock I'll see you in jail for, you know, he was, he was like fuming, you know what I mean? Because what could he do? I'm an American soldier. He is an American soldier. You understand what I'm trying to get at, right? Anyway, so we started this organization called Black Caucus. Where's the, where's the thing at? And uh, and we did a lot of stuff. Then, so this this organization here, or somebody sent a letter of appreciation. Hey, to me, Sergeant Tony Sloan, right there. Right? It says, on behalf of the Black Caucus organization, I extend to you the utmost gratitude and personal thanks for your service and participation in the McGuire Expo 73. See, we, we, we did these community things, you know, so I had expert, hey, you know, I used the Air Force, you know, the, the Army, the Air Force, you know, and military, military resources to do this expo for the community, right? The uh, true professionalism and high quality were ex exemplified throughout the expo. The only and only through the dedication of individuals such as yourself could Expo 73 have been a success third point here. You may be proud of your contributions to this utmost entertaining expo. We are sincerely appreciative uh, for your cooperation and participation in Expo 73. Uh, sincerely, uh, Charles Lewis, Project Chairman, 
Daniel R. Shields and uh, Chairman of Procedure. And what, what what happened was we did this whole thing. We had these bands. We was, it was in this airplane hangar. We had, I set up this stage. We had three stages. like So a band could play while a band is setting up. Then we had a, a, po- a thing in the middle where we had... Um, uh, like the MC, the 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 the, the master ceremonies, right? Including like like Miss Miss Philadelphia, or I don't know Miss New Jersey, no Miss Philadelphia, something like that. So as the act would go on, when they would finish up, I would have the 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 podium person, the the MCs talk, and then they would introduce the next thing. So we had this total flow and go. We got a lot. Of, anyway, it was amazing. It was amazing, right? Okay, that's part of the post. Uh, McGuire Air Force. Caucus presents Expo 73. I'm sorry, that was one of the things. But another thing that we did here, remarks, you hit this expo here. Uh, I don't know, I'll just show you this thing like that. That's 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 part of that's another part of expo. We had we had several kind of things. So I'll just show it to you. So this would be recorded somehow, okay? Like that. Okay. But that's not what I'm looking for. Here's what I'm looking for. Oh, there it is. What we did, they spelled my name wrong here. They put an E in it. What's the matter with them? Fighting the disease. This is a newspaper article. Fighting the disease. This cat here, this is my NCOIC, a, 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 a non-commissioned officer in charge, you know, in charge of NCO. Well, I yeah, non-commissioned officer in charge. We worked in a lab, right? So uh, so that was Bill Clapp, Sergeant William Clapp, right? Man, he saved me a bunch of... <laughs> I was doing some kind of stuff. But because Bill Clapp was there, they couldn't do nothing about me. It was very funny. Anyway... Anyway, so here's a here's a captain fighting the disease. Sergeant Tony Sloan and Staff Sergeant Bill, oh, SS, well, Staff Sergeant Bill Clapp of the McGuire Clinic have been instrumental in setting up testing pro- programs for sickle cell anemia on base and in surrounding uh, communities. Here, they examine blood samples in the clinic's laboratory. U.S. Air Force photo, so it's an official Air Force photo right there, like, like that. So what we, what we did, you know, actually was, that's why I said, you take the resources. I said, hey, you know, community needs sickle cell, you know, whatever, you know. So, so we, we would screen, we would go around the other communities and we'd get, bless them, and we would screen, we'd bring them back to the lab and screen them. Somebody had sickle cell, boom, you know, you have the results there. You see what I'm saying? We bring it to the lab. Okay, but that's not the big thing. Here's the one I was looking for. I've been looking for this photo. There's another photo I'm looking for too. Now, a New York City honors McGuire technicians. See that, right? That's Mayor John Lindsay, right? Now, if you notice, that's me right away. You can tell that's me, right, Sergeant? Better. I've got what we call the Tony Sloan smirk. Now, the reason why I have this smirk is because we was there all day waiting for this cat just for this photo opportunity. I know what a photo opportunity is, but these are the guys in the lab, you know? Let me see. This is, uh, I don't remember everybody's name. Oh, yeah, Dennis. Uh, Dennis, Steve. There's another guy that's mission, uh, missing. Right, and of course, Bill Clapp over there. Right, I'm gonna read this whole not not to read the whole thing to you. I'll read this thing here. Mayor John Lindsay Center of New York City recently presented certificates of appreciation to five McGuire Air Force Base Airmen with a, their participation in sickle cell anemia and lead poison testing. Okay, so what I actually did not only did did a sickle cell, but we went. I think we went even went to Far Rockaway. We went all the way from McGuire all the way to Far Rockaway. And we would test the community for lead poisoning because we was in Air Force. We had the resources. We we get plus we had a lot of people in the lab, so we had to have something to do. So it was it was interesting. But I always love this picture because you got this, I got this smirk. But the reason why I got the smirk, so they kept us waiting all day. I'm I'm not I don't care who you are, politicians, famous people. I don't care. <laughs> I'm going like what? We keep me waiting, huh? <laughs> it's quite funny. So anyway, so that's. That's, I want to tell you all that. Tell you to what? America is you. you what's happened now, we had a lot of other people hijacked America. Other people. These white supremacists, well, I know they started the country. I mean, you know, white supremacy being from the beginning. We allowed a white supremacist to take the flag, to hijack the narrative, whatever have you. Think about it. When everybody says Donald Trump is a racist, like, oh, forget Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump is doing what Donald Trump does. What are you doing? That's the point. So when he gets up there, he don't condemn himself. Oh, he didn't condemn him. Leave him alone. Re, re-hijack the country yourself. You can carry a flag too. Now, in fact, he that Don, the Donald's so bad. Not only did he, did, did he got the flag, but he got his own flag. He got his own flag. <laughs> we, 
we got the American flag and we got we can have our own flag too. I put that in another post in fact. Should I get one there? Hey, stay right. No, I won't say that. I won't do that. The point is don't let them take the country is the country. The country is whoever it is. You see what I'm saying? The country is whoever, whoever is it, whoever can, you know? Look, I won't go into I'll do it in another posting. I'll, I'll talk more about that stuff. But don't let these white supremacists take your land, your country. It is your country. Don't, don't You built it. You built it more than they built it. All they did was, they, all they do is exploit and kill and exploit and kill. You've been building, 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 and then allowing them to continue to exploit and kill. Don't make no sense to me. Does it make sense to you? I don't know. That's a little uh, observation from me, T, from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only, what I know. Now do I suspect it. This is history. Think about it. Know your history. Your country, your history, your fight. Take back the country. 